This final video in our activity is going to show how we do a scatter plot um, in Google's uh, spreadsheets. I consider this the more difficult of the two scatter plot um, instructions because what we're going to do is add a trend line to our scatter plot. The, the easy instructions did not, we will do so. Unfortunately though, Google Spreadsheets does not have a scatter plot function. So we're going to have to fake it. And I'll show you how we fake it with a set of instructions. The first thing I need to do is insert a column. So you'll notice I've selected the critical reading column. And what I'm going to do is insert a column to the right. So you'll notice we have a new column to the right of our critical reading column. Now I'm going to call this column the trend column. And you'll see why when we enter the formula. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put into the trend column the value of the critical reading score if it followed the trend of the trend line. And I do that by the following. I'm going to enter into this cell, the first cell in my data. I'm going to enter in the formula for the trend line. And I do that by hitting equals. Then I s select the slope of my trend line by selecting the cell times the x value for my trend line, which is the first x value in the column, plus the intercept. So there's the formula, y equals slope times x plus intercept. Now before I hit enter, I've got one thing I need to do. I need to put a dollar sign in front of the 3 and a dollar sign in front of the 4. Um, why I have to do that is a long story, but that's what I'm doing. I hit enter and there's the result. Now that's way too much precision. Let me change the precision. Now in this case an integer is good enough. Now understand what we just did. We just calculated the, what the critical reading score should be for a math score of 580 if they followed the trend. Now, of course, they didn't. You can see that by this cell right here. But if the person who got the 580 followed the trend, this is what their critical reading uh, S, uh, SAT score should be. Now, what we're going to do is copy this formula for the rest of the values in our list. And I do that by selecting the cell and selecting copy. Then I'm going to highlight the cells that I'm going to copy the formula into. You can't see me doing most of it, but trust me on this. B, and there we go. So there's our value. Now once again, here's another example. So a person with a 710 is SAT math score should have gotten a 635 if they follow the trend. Now, so we have our data. We have our x value in math. We have our y value in critical reading. And we have a second y value in our trend. So what we're going to do now is insert a, um, a scatter plot. And we're going to do that by selecting all the data that we want to graph. Now we want to graph both the x and the two y's. And I do that by selecting all the data. And it's simply a matter of selecting the upper left-hand corner. And now I'm going to sweep out both rows and columns to encompass all the data. So all three rows, all the data in my column. So there we have it. You'll notice Google drew a blue border around my data, highlighted the cells in blue. Now it's time to insert the chart. I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see, but I select Insert. I come down to Chart. And when I select that, I get this menu. Now there's more to this menu than you can see, but the one thing on it that's important is the charts. I select Charts. I select Scatter. And I select the first scatter plot. Now when I do that, you can barely see off to the side the beginning of the scatter plot. It's there, 
Um, let me select insert. Off the screen down at the bottom of this menu there's a blue button called insert. When I select that I finally get my scatter plot. Now let me move it up where you can see it. Bear with me. So there's the scatter plot. And you'll notice the blue represents the actual critical reading scores. The red represents the trend scores. And of course, because it follows the equation, it's a straight line. So we have our scatter plot, our actual data is blue, and we have the beginnings of a trend line in red.